Today, we are going to talk about this talk to Azure Migration. Now, what's the problem here? The problem is that a lot of customers out there are still on this talk server. And the latest version of this talk, this talk 2020, goes out to mainstream support in 2028. That might sound like it's a long way away, but if you've got hundreds of applications to migrate, that isn't long at all. And this talk isn't really built for the cloud, so if you're wanting to put everything in the cloud, there's a lot of network issues that you've got to resolve before you can successfully run this talk there. There's also a lot of capital cost involved. So if you've got a lot of tin and you're on a replacement cycle, you've got to look at, am I, do I really want to spend all this money on tin and licenses, or do I want to go cloud-based? And also, as a product, this talk is it's being maintained, but it's not really being improved anymore. It's, a, it's that kind of sunset mature product. It's not going anywhere. It still works, and it'll still continue to chug away and still work, but it's not going to go anywhere. So what's the solution? I mean, really, the, the natural migration point is to migrate to Azure, because that is an evergreen cloud, cloud platform, so all that stuff of licensing and versions and end of mainstream support, that goes away. You only pay for what you use, so you can start small and get big later. And there's a the concept there of just-in-time infrastructure. So what services do you need? Well, just get the ones you need now. You don't have to buy everything in one go. You just pay for what you need. And so, and, and the key to that is that there's no capital costs. It's our, a purely consumption basis. So how really do you get started? Well, the best thing to do is to get us in and to do a migration assessment. Now, typically that takes three to five days and we'll give you a report and the report will contain everything you need to know to plan your next phase. So, you know, what is it that your BizTalk apps contain? What's the bill of materials that they have, and how does that translate into Azure? You know, and then from that, we get the size and complexity of what your migration project is going to be like. Because if you need to plan, you've got to have this information, you've got to have this data. You know, we can tell you which Azure services you're going to need, and hence how much it might cost to run that footprint once you've migrated, and we'll tell you which bits you can reuse. So a lot of the components in BizTalk schemas, maps, that sort of thing, they can actually run in Azure. So you don't have to start from scratch. And migrating into Azure is the only solution that will give you that, that level of reuse. And we'll also identify some technical risks, the things that you're going to have a problem with and you actually need a plan around. So talk to us, get started, get a migration assessment. It only takes a few days and it gives all the information you need to plan your migration journey.